Hey guys and welcome back to our Laco Watches 2. I have inside this San Martin watch box, container, cylinder, whatever you want to call it, the new version 2 SN021, which was their fairly recent exploring style watch that I reviewed and in the comments section to that video and in the comments section to many other videos on that watch, there were some fairly common comments like the bezel's too thick, um, the watch needs applied indexes. Well, San Martin were reading by the looks of it um, because they've released this version too. And it's clear they've addressed some of those, I wouldn't say complaints, but some of those comments. So in this video, I'm going to unbox, uncylinder this watch and um, share with you my first impressions. Now, they are still selling version one of this watch on the San Martin official store. And there it is. Um, the version one is cheaper than the version two. Version two comes in a couple of color options, um, fairly standard packaging. Look, um, take this cylinder out and uh, show you the inside. Easier said than done. Oh, there you go. All your paperwork falls out and there's some, you know, bits and pieces in there as well. So uh, let's just take a look at the watch. That's what we're here for, isn't it? Uh, right, there's uh, plastic on it. Let me um, get that off. I'll be back in a mo. Right, there we go. Um, all I've done is removed the plastic and um, as you can see, I'm giving it a little wipe. You can see that blue AR coating already. Um, so it's not clear AR coating. It's blue on this particular watch. Right, now here it is is so uh yes i can definitely see some of the changes actually already um the crystal looks different the case looks different the end links look a little bit different um yeah and obviously you've got those applied indexes i'm pretty much doing the comparison now aren't i um <laughs> but anyway let me uh I just share with you my first impressions. I like it. I was a huge fan of the first one, actually. Um, the first one surprised me when it arrived. Um, I wasn't expecting to like it as much. And I think it was partly down to the fact that the loom or the numerals um, markers on the first one were printed on the dial. Um, I love the original Rolex or the Rolex Explorer. It's one of my favorite case shapes and styles. So when the exploring style watches um, have turned up from San Martin, um, they've just sort of missed the mark a little bit, really, for me. But this one looks, yeah, well, for me anyway, the best they've um, they've done so far. Um, yeah, quite sort of vintagey looking crystal still, isn't it? Um, sits quite high in the case, as you'd expect. I mean, the, the finishing looks impressive. Decent specifications, you know, solid stuff. Um, you know, sapphire AR coating. Um, what's the movement? Oh, PT5000 in this. So PT5000 or SW200. This will be the PT5000. Let's get some power into it. Uh, yeah, the unmistakable winding action of the PT5000. There we go. There will be a ghost position, I suspect. Yeah, I mean, it's there. I can't actually feel anything. It's Sometimes I think they remove the components from the movements. Um, because nothing is happening but there is a ghost position on the crown let's move the hands applied indexes look nice um, loom filled indexes so we'll check out the loom in a minute uh, applied logo everything seems to be lining up nicely closer look at the finishing on the case then looks nice circular brushing on the lugs longitudinal brushing on the bracelet Bit of a mismatch actually in the grain isn't there um you do tend to find that with watches that have circular brushing on the lugs it tends to be a bit more coarse than the very fine satin brushing that you're seeing on the um links there but um i sometimes wonder if that's intentional bit of a gap on the end links but it feels all right i'm i'm zoomed in quite a bit aren't i um right there we go let's have a look at the case back then screw down case back screw down crown hexagonal logo there look Solid end links, solid links, screw pins, I would imagine. Yep, uh, milled clasp. Right, we want to see the loom. Let's do that next. Uh, quick charge with the loom stick. There we go. It's been in a box for, uh, for a while, so it needs a bit of a charge. And we've got blue BGW9. And yeah, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Um, I will uh, include this watch in a loom comparison video on our like watches too. So don't forget to come and check that out, guys. Right, let's move on and get in on the wrist. And here it is on my seven and a quarter inch ish wrist. Yep, looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, what a difference it makes having applied indexes to this watch. I much prefer that, I've got to say. And I do think the other changes they've made 
are improvements. Um, there were quite a few people asking for those changes. And I'm thrilled that they're listening or reading anyway. Um, yeah, that's great news. Just shows how important it is to feedback after these videos. So please do, guys, let me know what you think of this watch or any other San Martin watch for that matter um, in my comment section. I mean, hopefully we'll get the watches that we all really, really want. Right. Um, yeah, let's wrap this up, I think. Thank you, as always, guys, for tuning in and watching my videos. I do really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to come back for the comparison between this and the version one on I Like Watches, which will be going live before the March sale. Cheers, guys. Take care. Look after yourselves. You'll see me again very, very soon.